one launch day mechanist here bringing you another world of warships legends video this video is actually actually i just finished this match just a minute ago but um well it's a little bit uh it's a it's interesting it's entertaining and it's a bit of a teaching moment if i had if i had some inlays to put in here i'd probably put in that inlay from guardians of the galaxy going like what are you doing I'm distracting you, you big turd blossom. Because that is actually what I wind up doing. You'll notice I'm in the carrier. I'm in the Ryujo. I'm trying to get, I was trying to get the, uh, the, ma the milestone for causing floods with torpedoes out of the way. And of course it doesn't specify ship or aerial torpedoes. Just that they got to be Japanese and tier 5 and up. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the match off. We're actually going to start it off with a bit of a bang. And I do mean that literally. Um, <laughs> so we got our torpedo bombers up in the air. And as you know, the Ryuzhou is the Japanese aircraft carrier. And of course, Japan being Japanese, their torpedoes pack a punch. Now already, now at first I kind of face palmed because... Are in, because the majority of our team, except for because look at the look at the the board. Both sides have two destroyers, which is better because I was in a match earlier with five destroyers on each side. Uh, but we've only got one battleship; they've got two. One of them is the Kirishima, which has been spotted, and that one is going to be a pain in the ass to me for the rest of the match. But AA in the middle of nowhere must be a destroyer. And yep, it's the Farragut. So, I drop in low, get some torpedoes away on him. He turns into them, and he take, and he's going to eat both of these. But it's not going to kill him. He immediately damage cons, starts a smoke screen. One of our teammates decides to take a few pot shots, but misses. I'm coming in. He goes on a torp run. I drop... And uh, he sits in his smoke. There you have it. First blood and torpedo hit. Why that is not a dev strike, I don't know. But maybe because, you know, one spread one spread of two, torpe tor two torpedoes equals one attack. So, yeah. I mean, those, there's, there's those uh, Mayhan torps. Already one of our cruisers is dead, and I've already hit the autopilot to get me the hell out of there because I've seen the team starting to black hole to see. I don't know where the other destroyer is at this point. I know it's a... I think it's a Fabuki and he's around here somewhere. He's actually going to pop up over in C. Um, but that's not what's going to happen. As you can see, the enemy team has four cruisers and two battleships. Every single one of them is over here. New York dev strikes one of the Omaha's and Kirishima takes out our furry taco. I get two torp hits on on their furry taco. And I start, you know, cycling aircraft around. But yeah, I've got basically I have got five ships sailing in to start breathing down my neck. All we've got left over here is a Dallas. And this guy is going to be running. He's going to try his best, but unfortunately it's just not going to be enough. But yeah, I got dive bombers up. I don't really use the dive bombers on the Japanese carriers much because, I mean, uh, my luck with fire chances ain't too good. Plus, you know, dive bombers are not the Jap uh, don't seem to be the Japanese thing. Torpedoes are more their style. But... Yeah, see, we get two hits on the Kirishima, and later on, uh, don't really do all that much. So we switch back to torpedo bombers. The Chungking over in C is calling for assistance, which I don't know why, because, I mean, if, he, if you look around, he's got two destroyers and at least three other cruisers, and at least two other cruisers with him, so why would he be calling for assistance? Anyway... So, flight of five torpedo bombers going into the uh, going into the attack, 
and we're going to hit the uh, the fur taco or the furry taco. We're going to hit him again with two more torpedoes. Now, one thing about the uh, Ryujo is that it is not fast. It is not a fast carrier. Yet, we get both hits away plus a flood. And at that moment, Pensacola takes out our Dallas. And of course, I'm sailing. Uh, I'm trying. I'm sailing in a straight line, trying to build up as much speed as I can. I saw the destroyer over there, but I'm like, ah, fuck it. They got this. But uh, here's what I mean by I'm gonna distract them. Basically, they are gonna take. They're gonna take this cap. But then, watch what they do. Our battleship goes to try and intercept. Speaking of uh, why I don't use dive bombs, I drop two here. And I incapacitate, but no damage. I'm not spotted yet, but that's going to change here real quick. Just waiting on torpedo bombers to reload. Change course a little bit. I'm only able to get her up to 24 knots, so these guys can outrun me. And in fact, they will be outrunning me. Um, at this point, I notify I'm spotted. Our battleship is coming out, but he is flat broadside, practically, to the entire enemy force. Uh, yeah, New York there. He is coming out flat broadside to the whole enemy fleet. I get my torpedo bombers up again. I figure, what the hell? They ain't dev struck me yet, so maybe I can at least take out the fur the fur attack the fur attacka. Try to even the odds a little bit. And, lo and behold, these guy, this guy just is just consent to sail in a straight line. In fact, that is exactly what I wind up doing. I wind up taking out the Furutaka with these torpedoes. And, of course, now I am deplaned. So that brings my kill count to uh, two. And of course, that down goes uh, down goes our New York, and the enemy's last destroyer, of course, the Fabuki, also goes down. So yeah, so now I the enemy has I am now the tar the un the target of the enemy's undivided attention. Now I, I'll admit I was a little salty here. Because uh, obviously the rest of the team is just sailing up there. They're going after the one of them is going secret squirrel after the carrier, but they don't stay up there. They actually do come back. And I shoot, you can see me. I'm moving about. I'm man, I'm I'm trying to move as best as I can because carriers ain't exactly maneuverable. And they are, and I'm angled apparently, and apparently I am bouncing shells. Yeah, they are, are literally just bouncing shells off the carrier. Well, and uh, these well, guys, they, they haven't, they haven't, they ain't done no serious damage yet, but look at them. They are still continuing to follow. To In fact, I notify yeah, one of our destroyers over there. I, t I basically tell them, well... If you guys want some uh, free torpedo hits and, ki and possibly kills, I have these guys undivided attention. They are sailing in straight lines, Good and in fact, that's exactly what happened. Well, the one of the Mayhan there takes out the Ryujo, so that's the enemy carrier dealt with. Meanwhile, I'm waiting for my planes to come back. I could have launched dive bombers, but I felt I needed to be in control of the carrier itself just in case. And ouch, that was a big hit. But I'm still floating. I'm still alive. I'm going to have enough time to get one more spread of torpedo bombers up. And, but that's going to be it for me. But I did my, but shoot. <laughs> I was a marvelous distraction, you got to admit. Because look at. These guys are just so far out of position that it is not even funny. These guys are just so far out of position. There is absolutely, they are, I, 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 let me do that again. They are so far out of position that the rest of my team has the chance to take the A cap. They are able to, yep, the Acosta is able to get a dev strike on the Pensacola. At right Good at that moment, kill. Pensacola gets flesh wound on me, takes me out. But I get a d torpedo bomber squadron up to take out to go after this Omaha. 
I'm going to get some good hits on him, but nothing, well, but not, but not a, not sink him. But just name. like that, and as a result, they have there are there's only one, ba there's two battleships and only one cruiser left. These guys are so far out of play. The Kirishima, especially, is so far out that by the time he's in a position to even do anything remotely resembling try to affect the match he's going to be the only one left alive our mayhan here i've got to give i got to give props to this guy i admit i did say he was secret squirrel yeah, going after the right carrier right but he got the carrier and he came back I don't know where what his torpedo. I don't. I don't know. I didn't know if he had launched torpedoes already, but I pointed out. You know, he had the New York beside him. But uh, he's got the New York there. What's left of the Omaha there? Uh, we've got our own Omaha coming in, and he launches his torpedoes. One of them strikes rock, but the others are just dead on accurate. In fact, I think Omaha... No, no, no. Omaha misses. Omaha... These these miss. But the Mayhan... Nope, Acosta gets it. But if but if Mayhan had gotten this kill, the New York, he would have had Kraken. That would have been his Kraken. Well, not yet. But uh, but Mayhan's going about... He, get, he, uh, he has four kills at the end of this match. So if he had gotten the New York, he would have had a Kraken by the end of it. He uh, guns down the Omaha, which is a mate, which, uh, <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, there's the Kirishima. He's just, bare, like I said, by the time he's in a position to do anything, he's the only one left, and he's just sailing into sea. The Shung King is there. <coughs> Excuse me. I was contemplating opening the comms back up and telling the Chung King to just... If you got deep, you've got deep water torps, use them. Don't try to gunboat a damn Kirishima battleship. That is what this guy actually does. He is sitting in his smoke. The uh, battleship actually does get spotted. You'll notice I was looking that way. I thought he was going to come that way, but nope, there he is. And he's trying to gunboat a battleship in a Chungking. Not even thinking of using his deep water torps. I, I gotta understand. Maybe they're on reload, or maybe he has forgot about him in the spur of the moment. But uh, Mayhan didn't forget about him. Mayhan didn't forget about his torps. He got him away. He got more torps away. Chung King beaches himself. I go into overview camera because I'm seeing these arrows, and I'm like, "Is Mayhan really about to get him?" And wouldn't you know it, Dev Strike. And Mayhem takes out Kirishima, and that is the end of the match. So yeah, I didn't survive the match, but I did some damage. I took out one of their destroyers. I took out their high-speed Furitaka, Fur Furry Taco. 216,000 credits before taxes, 2,900 ship experience. Uh, second place on the leaderboard. Went ahead and give uh, the Mayhem and the, uh, the Omaha... Uh, Legends friend request because they're on Xbox because that was pretty damn good. Chung King, uh, he's PlayStation, but I really didn't see him do that much. But 182,000 after taxes, uh, 2,912 ship experience, 146 global, 2912 commander, 59,580 damage. So, an all, all pretty good match. Hope you all enjoyed, and if you like what I'm doing, Punch the like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.